Hey guys, it's Sensei Mewtwo 12345 back for some more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 4. In the last episode, I don't even want to think about what happened in the last episode with this level. At any rate, I suppose we will just continue on to Bye Bye Blimps. And thud, Crash does his face palm. This is actually a really interesting level, a really creative idea for a Crash game. Basically, here we are. We are in a plane, we have to shoot down these blimps, and of course shoot down the boxes for the box gem. The controls are circle or R1 to shoot, square to do a spin that makes you immune to damage for just a brief moment, and that's it. The controls stick to move, so here our main objective is to shoot down these blimps. We probably want to take out as much of these boxes as possible. You'll see these uh, white boxes with the red health plus on them. Those boxes will obviously restore the damage that you've taken, and if you shoot the box directly, you get an extra life, so that's kind of handy. Like, here's one right now. Let myself take a little bit of damage. Shoot the bottom box, we get an extra life, and all the damage is healed. See, unfortunately, these enemies here, they can be kind of annoying, because they, they respawn infinitely. Ah, will you please? Oh, God. Ugh. Try to shoot one box, and this is what I get. And now they're so low that I can't shoot them. Come on, dang it. They've gone below that invisible barrier that allows me to get to them. And that's annoying, sir. Very, very annoying. Ugh. These levels would be so much better with less of these stupid plane people. Come on. Go away. Better restore some of my health. Oh, that's what you get for getting in the way of my life, box fool. Anyway, you, you die, please. Why? I'm sh Come on. Come on. Let's, let's, let's die. Die. Just die, please. Okay, shoot that down. Shoot this down. Come on. Alright, no. That's it. All of you are dying. I remember when I was a kid, I would use to take forever on these levels because I would just keep shooting these stupid planes down until I thought all of them would, were dead. Except they respawn infinitely, so I could never kill them all. And I'm like, come on, why won't you just die? And I still hate these guys today. Come on, will you just... 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 Duh, come... Come hither and face my wrath. Shoot this blimp down, because it's not near any other boxes I can see. How many boxes are left? Okay, it's just that one shoot that down and shoot this blimp down. We won't even bother with that plane guy because we get the crystal as soon as we shoot down all the blimps. So yeah, there's that. And of course the relic is how fast can you shoot down the blimps. There aren't any time boxes. We'll go ahead and do that immediately here. Anyway, I haven't really come up with any kind of strategy. No, I don't want to do this level yet. Hang on, guys. Cut. All right, let's try that again. Once more with feeling into the right level this time, please. Thank you. Huh, there are a lot of there are actually a lot of Coco levels in this warp room. Coco plays a very important role in this fourth warp room, I tell you. Anyway, before shooting down any of the blimps, we want to obviously shoot the time clock. And we'll go ahead and enter time trial, and now we need to shoot down all the blimps as fast as we can. So, I suppose the best strategy would be to just follow along the path that I'm going along, because I'm kind of... Ah, would you stop it? Because the, the blimps are all lined up in a row. Let me get up to about equal altitude with this one, and we can start shooting it from here. And same with this one. Yeah, you can actually hit the blimps from a 
fairly good distance. You just have to get around the same altitude as the blimps and you're good. Okay, we'll take this so I don't die. Now let's see. Would you please? I don't really want to waste any time on them, so you will take a lot of damage. Now that's what those life boxes are for. There we go. 59 seconds. Let's see. Sapphire Relic. Man, I suck at this. But that's faster than all my other times. Bleh. I can only imagine getting a Platinum on that one. Oh, that would be... That would be terribible. That would be terribible, I tell you. Of course, you could always take a different route than I did. Oh, I was only like one second away from the gold relic. How how dare how dare you? How dare you, sir? I don't even want to know what the platinum relic time is on that level. Alright, tell no tales. That shall be our next level. Another Coco level. It is of course when we almost accidentally ran into th and this is the last of these levels, thank God. There will be no more of these speedboat Coco levels after this one. Which is good because after after hot cocoa I'm starting to get sick of them. Anyway, this one has this one's mostly um straightforward, you know mostly a linear level, but there's also little bits of overworld where things are hidden. Like right here this becomes a little overworldish, although I do believe the boxes are still pretty linear. No! I want to know, how does the seagull, as soon as I touch the seagull, the boat disappeared, and I just need to know, how does a seagull kill you? I just need to know, because I, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can do that, sir. That was very, very naughty of you. Alright, let's not run to the seagull this time. Thank you. And let me see, there's some stuff over here. I think there's also just a little tidbit over here, if I'm not mistaken, which I am. Let's see. I'm, just, you're, I'm probably going to see me be overly cautious looking for boxes here in this level, because they really are all over the place. Let's... This way. Oh god! Okay. Do not hit me with that anchor. I do not want to be hit with an anchor. You bloody fool. But yeah, you're going to see me be a little bit overly cautious with the uh, looking for boxes in this level because there are a ton of boxes in this level that are very easy to miss. And I don't want to end up backtracking on this level. Thankfully, this is an easy level to backtrack on should you miss anything. Um... All right, grab this. Make sure there is nothing back here. There's some lives across there, across those buoys, but obviously we can't cross them because it's a level boundary. I know of a spot where you can cross them. Obviously, there is supposed to be a spot where you can glitch across and get to those lives. Otherwise, those lives wouldn't be there. But that spot is later on in the level. All right. Finally, a checkpoint. I was beginning to wonder. Now, let's see. I didn't leave anything behind back there now, did I? Did I? Okay. I just left bombs behind me. Oh, whatever we got over here. So, how's life been, guys? We here in Colorado are dealing with a nasty fire right now. It's actually really close to where I live. And, but no, I'm no, I'm not going to be affected by the fire. That would be very, very unlikely. The fire would have to spread like 25 miles, and there's no forest around where I live, so it would be kind of hard for the fire to do that. Ah, these stupid cannons! But yes. My thoughts go out at this moment to anyone affected by that, because it's it's really bad. You look out there, and 
over at that fire, and it's like a volcanic eruption going off in the middle of the mountains. Hey, now, stupid boat. Let's see, we've got this checkpoint here. And big ramps of doom. Let me see just a moment here. We want to go this way. Just being vigilant as to what exactly I'm doing. I hope I didn't miss anything so far. Somehow, I guess feeling somehow that I did miss something. And the feeling's just getting ever stronger by the minute. What is going on? What did I miss? Yeah, I totally missed something. Hang on, guys. We'll cut. I know exactly what I missed. Uh, how are we going to pass this? Oh. Yeah, this is kind of tricky here. There we go. And that's how you backtrack through there. Yes, here's what we missed. There's a split path over here, and behind this ship, there are some boxes. So yeah, we kind of uh, blew past that because I was being a derp. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cannonball. No. No. Bad cannonball. Also, the area where we glitch through the... Uh, buoys and over to where those lives are. It's just around here somewhere. Wanna look for a spot where the buoys are spread apart just a little. Hello, where is it? I know it's somewhere around here. Just kind of drive into these buoys. You'll find it eventually doing that. Oh, where are you? Here it is. And from here we can get these three extra lives that are outside the level boundary. We can't really go that far outside the level boundary because there's an invisible wall. Yeah, that's how you get those lives that look like they're outside the level boundary. Anyway, I'll see you back at the end now that we've retrieved the boxes that I missed. No! Okay, thank God. <laughs> I nearly ran into that bomb, and that would have sucked so much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, why are there so many close calls in this LP? Seriously, the game is giving me a heart attack every two seconds. Okay, <laughs> that would have sucked if I hit that bomb. Here we are at the end. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Ah. Let me see, let me... No, Asus, I don't want to update. Seriously. My computer just keeps... Ugh. Anyway, we have a relic yet to grab in this level. We will go ahead and do that really quick-like. Once again, I haven't quite gotten the Platinums in these levels yet. In fact, after having gotten some of the earlier Platinums, I just really don't feel like getting Platinums anymore. I will do it if you ask me to, but please, I beg of you, don't torture me this way. I've just decided to stop getting the Platinums off camera. It's, it's just really painful, and I have other things to do. I have another LP to get ready for, and all that madness. And I just can't spend hours and hours attempting to get the Platinum Relics. So, yeah. It just, it just can't be done at the moment. I will do it in the future, should you ask, but yes. For now, we won't do that. All right, boat person, get out of my way. And let's see, once we do this, this will put us at eight relics total. No, not this will put us at um, nine relics total. One more relic and we can go for the blue gem. Or not the blue gem, you more on the yellow gem. Because the uh, challenge area for the yellow gem way back in like level eight, or seven actually, is accessed when you have 
a certain amount of when you have 10 relics you can access a special challenge area for that level that where you can uh, grab the yellow gem see so yeah, the yellow gem is not nearly as hard in this game as it was in the last for some reason I always had all kinds of trouble when I was trying to 100% Crash Bandicoot 2 for the first time, figuring out where the yellow gem was in that game. I knew what, in, exactly what level it was in, but I didn't know how to get it. And then I saw the timer eventually, and I'm like, Oh, herp derp, why didn't I think of that before? Anyway, we got to the uh, more ramps of doom. And let's see if we can get this, yes! Masterful turning job, Sensei. Well done. Well done, indeed. Let's see. I highly doubt we have platinum relic material going on here, but we will see. Gold, at least, tell me. Yeah, we got gold. And we actually beat all my other times. Nice. So, let's see. Go ahead and set my name on there. I know it's intended for your initials, but that's what's good about having a... Uh, three-letter name. What is that little strand of color on the black screen there? Did you guys see that? There was like a little strand of color on the black screen that was not supposed to be there. I thought the game might have crashed there for a moment. Now let's see. We're going to go to Future Frenzy, which is a really confusing level, and we can't complete this level yet, so... Hello, Mr. Derp. And Dr. Cortex want me to teach you a lesson. Well, I've made a few modifications to my mechanics since our last encounter. So that sounds a little disturbing. That sounds a little disturbing, Engine. We didn't want to know about your modifications to your mechanics. Anyway, let us continue onward. Oh shoot, where did the one fruit sound effect go? My sound is like my sound is like glitching out at the moment. It's like weird. My sound never does this. For fortunately it's not that bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that, Sensei. Don't try to outrun the lasers by crawling. Alright, we have these uh little camera looking enemies there. They're actually reminiscent of an enemy that was in Crash Bandicoot 1. But unfortunately, I need to acquire a new copy of that game before I can LP that game. And, well, I have no idea when that will be. Unfortunately, the price for that game has been blown through the roof. So I have absolutely no idea when I'll be able to get my hands on a copy of Crash 1. And even if I did, it would be probably like 5 LPs later, like this one was after Crash Bandicoot 2. Because I just don't like putting games in the same series together. It just it just doesn't work with me. I don't like doing it. I like to make things a little more interesting by mixing up the games I LP. Let's see. We've got Mr. Steel Armadillo Person. And these guys apparently now own UFOs with lasers. Oh boy. I can't believe I hit that. And I love how that's just intended for you to spin all those wump fruit into oblivion. Anyway, Mr. Camera, stop spying on me, Cortex. It's creepy. Seriously. Man, I have no idea why. But for some reason, at like 3 o'clock last night, there was a stupid police car out in front of the neighbor's house. I have no idea what happened. Like I, like, I hope everyone's okay, because I don't... I think there may have actually been an ambulance, but I am not entirely sure. It was like 3 o'clock at night, and I woke up, and there were all kinds of flashing lights in my window. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, oh, shoot, there's a, there's a police car parked in front of the neighbor's house. What happened? Anyway, now we're going to go to a little bonus area. Of course, they baby you through this bonus area. We already know how to use a double jump. And hopefully by now you already know how to use a tornado spin. They're going to baby you through that, too. Yes, we already know. We already know, sir. 
You don't even need the Tornado Spin to do that. You only need the regular spin as long as you can time it well. And dang it, I just jumped over all of them. Why not? Why don't you just jump over everything, Sensei? Because, you know, that works. All right. Yes, we've hit 91 lives. We are only eight more lives away from my goal. And holy crap, I don't want to be lasered by you. Let's see. Would you put your spikes down? No one wants to see your spikes. Especially when I need to jump on you or spin you to kill you. I don't want to see your spikes at that moment. Anyway, we can't get either of the gems for this level yet because it's a, and they're in a challenge area that we can't access yet. So that's going to have to be put on hold momentarily. And let's see, we've got little... Would you stop it, Mr. Steel Armored Porcupine thing? Whatever you are, I don't even. I'd like to call it some kind of me metal echidna. But whatever, let's leave this level. And we need, uh... We need, like, f f uh, 20 relics before we can actually complete that level, so... We will have to complete that level at a much later time. Let's see. Now we have level 20. I hated the crap out of this level as a kid. It's Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Don't you see what they did there with Tomb Raider? Anyway, I think this will just be the last thing we do for this episode. This shouldn't take too awful long. It's a long level, but it's not that long. However, there is a lot of waiting for the water in this level, because there's water in this level that rises and falls that I used to hate as a kid. And obviously when the water's up, you are able to drown in it. So, whoa, okay. It's not a very good idea to go in the water when it's deep. It's also not really a very good idea to rush this level, even though you obviously have to for the relic race. You can time it metronome wise to where you can uh, to where you can manage it but yeah uh, that is something we will deal with at a later time but we do not have to deal with that quite yet oh look more counting for me to do one two three four five whoa okay one I said come on why aren't you bouncing crash one two three four Five. See, was that so hard, little bandicoot? Anyway, we don't want to hit that exclamation mark box, because don't you see this little trap they've set up? Anyway, you can still get those boxes, even if you do activate the exclamation mark box. You just won't get anything from those boxes, because you're going to have to make them explode like so. Let's activate the TNT, and that will make all the nitros explode, and we are done here. Yes, look at that life count. That life count. We're getting so close. Anyway, we've got more water. So much water in this level. Nobody likes the massive amounts of water. Let's leave those boxes behind for just a moment so I have safety. Go ahead and get these again. I don't even know why I tried to rush that, because I would have had to stop to get those boxes anyway, and since I stopped it. I'm just, like, confusing myself, and I'm confusing all my viewers, and it's not working for anyone. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Just, just, no, okay? Just no. I will not drown this day. I refuse to drown this day. Let's see. Anyway, we have the little blue gem challenge area is what this is. Are there boxes in here? I can't remember. Um, I don't believe there are boxes here. There are just um, little steel boxes of doom and sad. Well, they aren't really steel boxes of doom and sad. They're of happiness and wonderfulness before we need them to survive. Let's see, we've got all this stuff here. Yeah, I don't think there are any boxes over this way. Luckily, we still can, likely, um, get everything. 
all in this one run because this is a fairly easy area to backtrack through. I don't know why I want to backtrack through here. I guess I'm just a masochist. Let's see. And I'll probably just cut for all that backtracking unless something interesting happens to happen. Blah. Hurry up, water, go down. Thank you. All right. There is a blue gem. There were no boxes down this way. But luckily, it's fairly easy to backtrack through here. I'll see you guys at the beginning unless sadness occurs. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to... No, what? Why'd I fall and not drown? Oh, well, that's one way to do it. Just kill yourself. <laughs> Why didn't I think to do that? Oh, well. Whatever, bro. Activate that and activate this and... We can use this to skip all this. Please, please, please. Okay, yes, we can skip all of that like that. Skills, bro, skills. Okay. Water, rise, 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 rise. Please, 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 please. This recording is getting longer and longer because you are taking too long to rise and fall. All right. Rise, water. And then fall once more. Yeah, this recording, I let get a little long, didn't I? Oh, well. Stuff like that happens. Plus, I need to make a lot of progress anyway. What in the world? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Okay. So, apparently, I glitched through the ceiling of the level. And that just caused doom and sad. Or nearly caused doom and sad. Okay, whoa. Okay. We can, we can, we can still do this. All right. Like that. Die, you. Alright, hang on, hang on. We've got this. We got this. Let's go ahead and cause that to uh, fall. And these boxes. I love the music for these levels, personally. I think they're pretty good. Whoa, what? What? I was still on the platform thing. I was only barely on it, but still. All right, you. No. Why did I attempt to do that? Why was I such a derp? Come on, Sensei. Your antics are only making this recording go on even further. Half an hour into this recording. I still want to attempt this, though. Do 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 do. I love how when you jump on those guys, Crash jumps in perfect rhythm with the music of the level. All right, here we go. We will complete all this madness. Now, 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 rise, you stupid water, and hold up my progress even further. Why don't you? Now, let's try not to glitch out on this platform, and we'll remain away from this side of the platform. For some reason, when we went to the edge of the platform, it glitched out and happened to kill us. Whoa, 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 stupid water, don't kill me. All right, enough singing. Let's leave this level. And obviously, because of the video link, we got an extra long episode this day. So this is Sensei Mewtwo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ending this gaming lesson. We will fight Engine in the next one. See you guys.